Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and I'm back with some more Anodyne. And just gonna budge straight into the third dungeon because I have nothing better to do with my life. No, but um... Yeah, now, I will apologise right off the bat for this episode going up so late because... Like, I'm recording this on the day it goes up and it's 25 past 8 at the moment, so I can only imagine how late this is actually going to reach the internet. But... In my defence, I have been crazy busy over the weekend, so I've not really had a chance to record it before now. Because, um... Uh, where do I want to go? I'll, I'll go down first. Um... Yeah. So, over the weekend, I've been doing my university's... Uh, like, my university has a thing called Game Jam, because I'm a game design student. And that involves... Uh, it's completely optional, there's, there's no penalty for not taking part. So, yeah. It involves teams of one to five, uh, designing a game, and the only gimmick is... Oh, speaking of gimmicks, uh, you have just two days to, to create it. Well, you have from 4.30 on Friday to 3.30 on Monday. And it's just to make a game from scratch that fits a theme, and so I was doing that. So, yeah, you go down that hole. That's half the reason why this episode's going up so late. The other half being I was having a lot of trouble with recording the second part of uh, Sonic 3D Versus, which has gone up now, so don't worry. And we recorded part three earlier today, and that's actually what gave me the energy to record this now, because I'm feeling really lethargic, because I've been having a really good day, but, um, like, it, it takes it out of you, you know? Because, uh, oh, where do I want to go? I've already been this way. Actually, no, I, I, I want to go down up, I, I, there. I want to go into this bit that's off to the left here. Um, I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, so I've been having trouble with that, but we've now recorded... Oh, there's nothing of note in there. I've now recorded the next part of Sonic 3D Versus, so that's part three that's recorded, and that'll go up on Saturday anyway, because that's a weekly series. All that hassle just for a key. Yum. I... And I've forgotten what I was saying again. See, I was doing Game Jam. I will do a playthrough of the game that I made um, at some point. Like, it's incredibly simplistic. Because, you know, like I said, I had two days, and I ha I entered as a team of one. So, you know, don't expect miracles. And I, I, I submitted it today, because today is the deadline for submitting it. And so I'll get back to you on how that goes. Um, where do I want to go from here? You know what, fuck, I can just wrap around a second time if, if need be. So, yes, I'm not really acknowledge anything about the game, but this is... I don't, I don't know what this dungeon's called. I think it's just the, the cliff caves, or the cliff caverns, or something like that. And the giant spiky roller that appeared on the screen, and then apparently I wasn't supposed to go in that way. And yet there was a one-way shortcut on the inside, so I don't even know. Yes, th there was a spiky roller thing that came down and tried to kill me. That's that's the gimmick I was alluding to earlier. And I'm going to leave the dungeon and restore my health, and then come back. Blah. <clears throat> oh, I don't have to leave. There's a thingy here. So yes, that that was a really cat-handed way of explaining it. But yes, that's why this episode's going up late because. I had no energy to record. Oh yeah, I was having a good day, but having a good day sort of kind of depletes your energy because. Well, I, I, I don't know that today was just one of those inherently good days. I mean, we had the um, the Eurovision semi-final allocation draw. Uh, the, the UK is drawn into the second semi-final, as is San Marino and Ireland and Poland and Slovenia, a bunch of other countries that I want to be able to vote for. So Ireland have a good chance of qualifying. San Marino have a good chance of qualifying because Italy's in that semi-final as well. I think this is the first time since 2011, if ever, that the UK's been able to vote for San Marino in the semi-finals. That's why I hate the dogs in this game. Now, I'm aware that typically people who, who watch this, well, watch my videos for Eurovision don't watch it for the gameplay, and people who watch it for the gameplay don't watch it for Eurovision, so I'm probably doing myself a disservice by mentioning one in the other, but whatever. Now, that thing that looks like a cocoon of lightly coloured poo, that is actually a doorway. And I don't actually remember the most efficient way through this dungeon, but we'll be, we'll be coming through here again, this particular room, at another point, and I, I I could tease, you know, how we come through it, but I think it's fairly obvious that you just smash through from the ceiling, so, you know. Just don't get your hopes up, it's nothing spectacular. Well, fuck you. Uh, so, like I said, I've been having a good day, apart from the fact that, you know, this episode's going up crazy late, and again, I apologise, because busyness and lethargy. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, everything's been good. Are you people doing goodily and stuff? Because I do care. Because, you know, anyone who watches my video, or any of my videos, is like a family member of sorts. Because, 
You validate my existence, and for that, I thank you. Is this another key? It's another key! Like, uh, I, 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 was, I was about to make some sort of joke about, oh, what am I trying to do? Entertain a toddler by, like, getting a bunch of keys, and yeah, that, that joke kind of didn't go anywhere, so, mm, uh, I suppose I'll go one room across and then see what lies to the left. Well, like, you know what, I'll save here so I can have health. Because I've just been all of the careless with my health in this dungeon. Because I am just that good at life, in general. Uh, yeah. That's not what I meant to do, but that happened. And I don't like these spinny things, because, like, it's, it's really easy for them to get you. Just through sheer carelessness. And they can knock you off this platform, which means that that completely destroys the entire puzzle, because you have to start the whole room from the beginning, and that would be majorly inconveniente. Because that's a word. And I don't care if you're not required to open the way, I'm still going to kill you in the face. So yes, do die in the face, please. Now, what's this bit over here all about? There seems to be literally no purpose to this. Don't know why my throat's gone all scratchy all of a sudden, but... Um... Oh. Bugger me sideways in a handbasket. Um... And another one. I... I was going to say something, and it's, it's completely gone. So anyway, we've got a card. Um, oh yes. Scientifically speaking, toads are a subset of frogs. Shut the fuck up, Meredith. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, as someone who's played this game before, well, like, two, one hundred plus percent. Okay. Oh, don't respawn, you tit waffle. Um... Like, you will see places throughout this game that look suspicious, and if you know uh, what happens later in the game, you'll, you might think to come back and check them later on. And I'll point out more of those places as they become apparent. But you know, it, in my practice file, I did come back to those places, and no, there's nothing special. Like, like that is one example. There was literally nothing special about that location. It's just a, a weird bit of dungeon that doesn't really seem to serve any particular purpose. Fuck you! Hey. Well, anyway, I, I think this is actually a relatively short dungeon, because... I mean, I think that the first half is just... Wait, hang on, what? How... How do... Oh! Oh, I do have to kill you fuckers in the face, with my face. So, really aggressive kissing, then? Killing someone in the face with your face? I'm just gonna pick up all these, because I'm obsessive like that, apparently. Not, not, not in a way that romanticizes OCD, but just a... Yeah, I, I have a mildly obsessive tendencies from time to time. Which is kind of the theme of the of the game that I made for the game gem thing, as it's called. And again, another bit up here that doesn't serve any real purpose for anything. Literally anything. Uh, I, I don't, like, the, the commentary is just not flowing to me naturally this evening, it seems. But I, I've, I've got myself motivated as well with a... Oh, bugger. With a mug of peach tea, which is obviously you know, made with boiling water, so it's too hot for me to consume, so it's sitting there and quite literally chilling, waiting for me to finish recording so I can drink it while I'm editing, and then it will be of, of an imbibable temperature. Warning, vertical drop, jump at your own risk, yeah, well, you're a sausage. Don't know where that came from. Anyway, like I, like I spoiled before, come on like a wrecking ball. Wait, so am I MC Hammer, am I Miley Cyrus? I don't even know, you can just die, just all of you die. If only crowd control was that easy in real life, because I get what these guys represent. As, as someone who does have anxiety as tendencies, I understand what they represent. And this is the bottle already. So good to see you, Yang. Been too long. Still playing those Nintendos, I see. And that's not disturbing in the slightest. Anyway, th this is another case of those just spam hits and hope for the best. But, um... Now, there is something interesting to note about the fact that this wall refers to Young as Yang. Um, and it will become more apparent later in the game, because, like I said, um, later in the LP I will give my thoughts on what the meaning of this game is, because it is a very symbolic game, and, well, it's a bit of an allegory of sorts. But, like, j just note the fact for the moment that, that he says Yang as opposed to Young. And... Now, I will point out, and I'm not going to tease anything just... Well, I'll tease it, but I won't go into any specific detail just yet. And that was a lot easier than it was my practice file, and I have no idea why. Jesus, Yon, when are you going to just grow up? 
You know, you're going to have to learn to deal with people sooner or later. You see, that's what I was saying about, like, the whole people representing anxiety and stuff, and I can totally relate. But the fact that he refers to Young as both Yang and Yon, um... Well, Yon I can't really explain. I think it's, well, it's one of the... It's, it's like, the, the Japanese word for four that doesn't sound like death, because they have one that sounds like death and one that doesn't. Anyway, hello. Well done, Young. However, there are still trials to face. Don't let your guard down. Have you found all of the keys yet, Young? If not, go to the beach. Yeah, anyway. Um, what I'm saying is, Yang would be a, um... I was about to say Hichinic, like Hispanic, but from China, but like a, a, um, a, a Chinese sort of oriental way of... Oh, you collect, cl collect cards too? Real classy, Ying. I mean, the, the joke here is that he can't get his name right, but like the fact that he opens with Yang is significant, because like I said, well, like I was about to say, and there's Yang being swallowed by... I was about to say gloves or glove puppets, no, people or skulls or something, but... Um, like, it's a Chinese way of pronouncing the name Yang. Because it's, you know, b being an English word, they'd have to transliterate it into some form that they're familiar with pronouncing, and so Yang becomes Yang. And it would be the same in Japanese, although it would have a, a U at the end, because that's how Japanese rolls, because Yangu. Anyway, um, did I miss a room? Well, you know what? I don't care. We're leaving. I have a leftover key. I refuse to leave while I have a leftover key, goddammit. I. Where does it belong? I'm assuming that blank spot there, because this dungeon was made by Taylor Swift, because she's got a blank space and so she's going to write your name. I've never actually heard that song. Go away, dog. Where am I going? Ah, uh, but hang on. There was an upstairs room that I couldn't get into, and... And... Wait, hang on, wait, fuck. <laughs> See... Like I said, I I'm tired, I was feeling lethargic. It goes without saying that I'm not really feeling the commentary today. So, if I fall down here, and then go down there... Boop. So in other words, by warping to the entrance, I've actually made made it longer for myself. Ladies. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, plus I think I spent all my good commentary on recording the verses, but I suppose that's a good thing, because... Well, actually, I can't think of a reason why that would be better, but whatever. Uh, where am I going? Going up and to the right... Oh yeah! I just walked straight past this and did nothing about it. I am a derp face, and there are dogs. I hate dogs, just in this game, and I'm not a big fan of them in real life either. But the problem is, like, um, my sister has a dog, and I think I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned it on camera before as well, but her, her name happens to be Jessica, so Tess Hex's sister is called Jess Hex. And if we don't get to that treasure chest quickly, then this thing will take up the entire bottom segment of this room and make it completely unopenable, so I'm going to leave before that happens. Oh wait, no, never mind. There's, that must be a different one I'm thinking of. But anyway. Yes, yes. So, Tess Hex's sister is called Jess Hex. Uh, what did I just get? Ha 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 ha, yeah, I know! In other words, the general background noise that they were, they were making. So, yes, um... Yeah, so she, she has a dog. And she knows that I'm sort of sensitive about dogs, like, I, I, I don't like the fact that they have no concept of personal space, and that they're all really up in your business and stuff, and so whenever we visit her, she does, um, like, she shuts it outside, and while I do really appreciate that, I can't help but feel like a massive liability when that happens, because, I mean, you know, I understand the argument, oh, it's, it's the dog's house, I mean, it is kind of discourteous to allow a family member in general, be it human or otherwise, to just jump and slobber all over your guests and potentially bite them or otherwise attack them, but that's not what I'm getting at here. Like, you know, I appreciate, you know, it is the dog's house, as well as the rest of the family, and so shutting it outside is kind of unfair to it, and I, well, I think it's a he, but, um, so I feel like liability, I feel like, you know, people having to make exceptions and concessions for me, and that's like, like, I don't like that being a thing, although I appreciate it being done, if you know what I mean. It's but it's part of this whole anxiety business I was talking about, and... No, I don't think there is any way to get down to this low, the lower section of the cliffs until later. But by later, I mean actually incredibly soon. So... Fuck it, I'll just go back to the Nexus, because... Um... Yeah, n that rainy area I showed off earlier. Uh, that's... That's now! <laughs> we need to go to the rainy area now and... Show off another one of my top tracks in this game because, like I, I, I've gushed about the soundtrack in this game so many times. You, sir, are just a waste of carbon. Um, uh, it's a bit further down from here, isn't it? 
So, I, while I'm in the area, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that shop. Actually, while you know, I'll, <laughs> while I'm thinking about it, I'll save the rainy area for the next episode, and I'll do this bit instead. So I, I can be a bit of a tease nugget, as it were. Because we're more or less at about the halfway point of the game, which makes me sad in the face. But, um, yeah, like, the, 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 the shop thing. Like, I do like how like, how it's done, because like it, it's there towards the start of the game. It's established, oh, here's a shopkeeper, you know, pay for stuff with money. And then nothing is said about it ever again. And so, like... Considering th that this game is described as taking place within, not necessarily a dream, but a dreamlike world. Like, I've mentioned this before when talking about Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, but, um, you know, the, the, the creepy ass video series. But, um, I think I've spoken about it on camera. I do really appreciate it when art can mimic dreams like that, because, you know, in this dream, you know, they set up, they set you up to think, oh, well, there's a shop, but then. They don't, they don't say anything about it ever again after that, and so you sort of forget. You don't question the fact that, you know, th this shop isn't a thing. You just forget it exists. So I think that's really well done on, on their part. And I am just filling in the map at this point, but th there are a couple of things that I want to do. It involves getting cards and... Ah, you... You... You are a frog. Frog capture complete. I made that reference before. Uh, I suppose that does remind me... Uh, once upon a time, and this was a long time ago, this would have been like 2000 and... Three, four, or five, maybe? Um, first of all, here's a rabbit. Hi, I've Olive the rabbit. I have so much cereal left to eat. I love cereal. The box is so big, it never ends. Okay. A again, dreams and how they're weird and random, but in such a way that you don't really question it. Like, you think it would make sense in the context of this world, and you don't question it, and... Ah, uh, dream logic, I love it. Anyway, so... Sometime in the mid early mid-2000s, um... I mean, I... I was very much, um, you know, a, a, a fan of the Sonic series growing up, hence why I'm doing a, you know, Sonic 3D Versus. And a game that was particularly big at the time for me was, well, it had been for a while, was uh, Sonic Adventure. And so, completely unapropos of that, if that's a word, um, there was this frog that was, I, I don't remember the exact circumstances, I think it was injured. Blech. I don't remember the exact circumstances. But it was injured, it was outside our house. And my mother picked it up and put it somewhere safe, I think. I think it was as simple as that. And in so doing, she said, Frog Capture Complete, to reference E102 Gamma. Yeah, I know, it's a, a really nerdy reference, but... You know... Mother, because I know you're watching, yes, I remember that, and... I don't really have anything... I, I have nothing to back up the second half of the sentence. Oh, I'm going massively off topic, because... I don't know, I, I'm still exploring this area. Filling in the map and stuff. And stutch stuff stuff much such I, I I should just end this episode before I get do myself into any deeper of a commentarial hole ladies oh hang on is this where I think it is I actually don't know if, if is is this where I think it is no it's not well there, there's somewhere later in the game well I say later elsewhere in Hyrule field as it were that looks kind of like this and it represents part of the end game and Rude, just boot me right out of the bloody screen and resetting everything, you soggy hot dog vendor. I don't like the word vendor with an O. I, I, I know, like, that's a weird thing to mention. Just something about it doesn't sit right with me. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm too used to the concept of a vending machine. Like, machines vend. Or, you know, maybe that's just me being peculiar. Um. Now, I don't think I've ever told the story of the Hebrides, so since I've got like a minute or so left in this episode while I'm busy, busy, busy doing nothing at all, um, like this is a really short and simple story, but it's something that persists to this day, but only in my own personal idiolect. You know how when you raise your eyebrows or when you, you know, furrow your brow, whatever, you get those lines across your head and some people have it so it looks like their, their forehead gets good Wi-Fi signal or whatever? I call those Hebrides. So, <laughs> fun facts with Tess. Oh, I thought this was for a free fuck of health, but no, it's just for the, the Mitra, Mitra, Lady Gaga card. Wes and I make a good team. Yes, you do. I'm the chosen one in training! Yeah, apparently, Meow Xiao Tuan Er means some, something like Meow Tiny Balls. So, yeah. Now, there, there's one song by the, the Prodigy, I think it is. I don't remember what it's called, but it, it involves them saying, I got the poison, I got the remedy over and over again. And as a child, I thought they were saying, I got the poison, I got the Hebrides. So, 
that sort of validated my use of Hebrides as an expression. I only recently found out what the rest of the lyrics of that song actually were, because it's something like, I got the poison, I got the remedy, I got the pulsating rhythmical remedy. That, no, it doesn't sound like that on the track. It sounds like, I got the poison, I got the Hebrides, I got the flip, flip, like, yeah, yeah, the remedy. Like, enunciate, please. So, um, on that rather bizarre note, I think this is our next destination. Yes, it is. So, in the next episode, we will do stuff over here, and you'll find out, you know, you, you'll hear one of my favourite tracks in the game and discover the beauty that is the rainy area. But in the meantime, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, and sometimes I get the Hebrides. <laughs>